American V8s excite each petrol head. In fact, the reason for this feeling is probably none other than a Hemi NG. Today, we will talk about almost a 120-year-old legend, Hemi, that has written its name and its history of the automobile by roaring. Hemi motors are different from conventional V8 motors with cylinder heads and sparking plugs are placed directly on the center of the combustion chamber, which it appear with its design in the form of a hemisphere. Have you noticed? Hemisphere! In summary, this design improved efficiency by ensuring better combustion of fuel in the combustion chamber, thus more power was obtained. Belgian pipe company owned and operated by the Alfred and Victor Goldschmidt brothers designed the first Hemi engine. They used this engine for the first time in a race they were invited to show. After Hemi made its premiere in this race, the weight of the engine also increased the weight of the car, causing it to be disqualified. However, because this design proved itself in a race, other teams have attempted to produce similar Hemi designs over time. This engine, which was very innovative and efficient in its own time, would later attract the attention of Chrysler and together it would engrave its name in gold letters in history. Just two years later, in 1907, Fiat knocked on Giovanni Enricorni's door to finish French dominance in races. Enrico was asked to design a new engine under the supervision of Carlo Cavalli. The designed engine was a Hemi that produced four cylinders and about 130 horsepower. Of course, this power was even lower than the cars, which are used by our mothers when they go to the supermarket today. In fact, if you had a 50 horsepower car in those years, it was a standard power. Fiat had a really good weapon against French. America's newest fighter plane, the P-47 Thunderbolt. Several decades have passed since the beginning of this competition in Europe. A person with a narrow moustache was against the rest of the world, and suddenly things became crazier than ever. The M-47 Patton tank became the heart of metal monsters that left a mark in history, such as the P-47 fighter. But Hemi engines were often designed to be used at one atmospheric pressure length. It was almost out of breath trying to carry the P-47. This introduced us to the supercharged Hemi models. People who wanted to forget the unpleasant memories of the war turned to inner peace, especially in the United States. People were quite eager to spend money to enjoy life. The automobile industry was shining brightly. In 1951, the first overhead while the 8 Hemi engine was released for the first time. This development increased their engine power. At that time in the United States, people were supplying their competition with the motor power of their vehicle. Therefore, this new design became immediately popular. For the first time, Dutch had unveiled its top while V8 Hemi engine. Thus, Dutch and DeSoto left their competitors in dust. You probably heard the number 426 somewhere, maybe in a Discovery Channel program, maybe in a movie. This number is like a sacred number for petrol heads. When the calendars show the year 1964, a 426 semi was placed under a NASCAR version Plymouth Belvedere Who. But 
In those years, being a NASCAR was against the rules for an engine that was not produced for the streets due to homologations. The following year, NASCAR banned 426 Hemi engines. In 1966, a street version of engine was produced that could generate 425 horsepower under homologations. That returned to the NASCAR race with this engine. When the clean chimneys of the factories gave us oxygen in 1971, new emission regulations came into force. On the one hand, the rise in oil prices hit our bulky engines another blow. Finally, the end of the 426 Hamis came, although its use on the roads was prohibited. 426 is continued to tear up the racetrack. That thing got a hammy? Yeah. Sweet. After a long silence, we heard the sounds of the third generation of the Hemi engine in 2003. Of course, we had to make some changes to feel that spirit again. For example, the hemisphere that gave the motors its name was eliminated, homologations. Of course, there were positive returns. These powerful and big engines were able to return to the streets. In 2005, a hundred years after dawn, Dutch and Chrysler engineers unveiled orange engines with a volume of 6.1 liters. New Hamis brought SRT vehicles to life. Of course, a more economical version was produced. The younger brother in question was only 5.7 liters in volume. In 2015, Dutch introduced the Hemi Hellcat Red Eye with a volume of 6.2 liters. At 797 horsepower, a rearing car appeared on a stop line when the gas was pressed. Producing about 960 newton meters of torque, this car had one intention to prove the existence of war homes in Star Trek. Hemi, an ancient tradition with over a century of history, is a dream of some of us as a real friend, while some of us experience insatiable happiness.